What's up everybody? What the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. What the fuck is up everybody? How's everybody doing? How's everybody and your mama doing? Everybody and they mama doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing okay, motherfuckers. Um, so I was going through my comments right now and um, a girl named by the name of Brittany Martinez, shout out Brittany Martinez, what the fuck is up, left me a comment said that she never really comments, she's a silent supporter, but she fucks with me, and she, she said that I make her laugh, and I'm so happy that I make you laugh, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, that's, that's my thing, I just want, I just want people to be, I don't, I just want to make people laugh, I just want to make people forget about the bullshit, man, we have so much bullshit in this motherfucking world, you know, if it's like for a minute that I make you guys laugh, it's all good in the motherfucking neighborhood. That's all I need. That's all I need, bitch. So anyways, for the raffle, um, I, I was thinking, because I want to go live on Valentine's Day. So I'll be announcing the motherfucking winner on Valentine's Day. So that's the last day, I guess. I think I'm going to go live at like at 5. At 5. I don't know, West Coast, East Coast. I don't know, PM. I don't know what the fuck, but I'm going to live at 5 California time. This day. I hope you guys, I hope somebody wins. And if you guys want some lemons, hit me up. I'm going to climb that motherfucker and I'm going to bring them all down. Email me. I don't even know how the fuck, but I'll do it. I'll send you some. Este, ¿Qué más te iba a decir? I love you guys. So today I will make some, <laughs> some good shit. Um, chimichangas. So I have this guy. I'm so sorry I forgot your name, but you always ask me. Bird, can you make some chimichangas? Bird, can you make some chimichangas? I'm like, pero no que son chimichangas. When I think about chimichangas, I think of them in the fridge, in the freezer area. That's why I never really, I'm like, really? But you know what? Chimichangas is like a fried burrito with some guacamole on the side. And bitch, I was like, mmm, guacamole. And we've been eating meat. So I was like, you know what? Let's eat some fucking chicken. Porque no nos vamos a morir aquí. So, for this recipe, we are going to use... Some boneless chicken breast. Some boneless chicken breast. Boneless, featherless chicken breast. Pobrecita chicken. Yo soy chichis para nosotros. So we're using three. Um, we're gonna use some um, tortillas. These are the ones that I like. They're coming out. I made myself two quesadillas right now. Because we're hungry. And I don't really like to eat. No, I don't like to cook when I'm hungry because I feel like I'm gonna be poking at the food. But anyways, these are the ones that I like. They're so soft. They're so good. Literally, I eat this bitch when I'm hungry and I don't want to like cook anything fancy or whatever. I get this. And then I get this. I know it's going to sound nasty for some of you. I get some mayonnaise. Vamonos, roll it up in a taco. Mm, mm, mm. That's like, I grew up with that shit. You know, when you're little and you're hungry and your mama doesn't come home till six. Woo! My mom would wake up like at five in the morning walk my little sister to the babysitter to six in the morning right going at seven th she didn't come home till like six in the afternoon every day and you know i had like sometimes she would leave food but sometimes i just had to like figure it out you know and i would eat a lot of tortillas that's why i have a lot of love for tortillas because they fucking raised me bitch my tia la tortilla i got sofia la tortilla and i got my tia la tortilla who was there for me okay also, we're going to use some tomatoes. We're going to use, of course, my little horse. Mucho cilantro. I love cilantro. Cilantro loves me. Cilantro is a superfood. You know what I'm saying? The more cilantro, the better. Um, we're going to use some limones from the tree. We're going to use some onions, some garlic cloves, some motherfucking avocados. Did I put the cheese already? Oh, no. We're going to use the cheese. I'm using mozzarella just because that's my favorite. I know you guys like the yellow cheese, the Monterey Jack cheese. Or I like the Monster, Monster, Monster cheese. I would like that one too. And then to season, I already have the chicken one. And we're going to use some oregano, some black pepper. And some cumin maybe. Tengo un pinche desmadre. So when I got home today, after picking up the girls from school, I started cleaning, I cleaned the fridges. And then yesterday, you know, two, two nights ago, there's like little steps when I go down. 
and I never I never fall. Even if I, the lights are off, I never fall. But two days ago, I was like walking, he boom, I ate shit. And it was because when I cook, I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, holding like uh, the big ass spoons. And I guess the the food was dripping and it got oily and that's why it slipped. So I was washing it with soap, like the the broom and soap and shh, shh, shh. But I put too much um, wash, dishwashing soap. It was a bunch of bubbles and I was like, oh my God, I just want to start cooking already. I have a fucking mess. But anyways, so yeah, that's what we're going to use. I have some dishes here I have to wash because I was cleaning the fridges. So I took out some whatevers. So here we go, yo, let's do these. Okay, so first we're going to clean our pollo and stick. Remember, before you wash your shit, wash your sink. After you wash your shit, wash your sink. Like you wash them butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you guys know right now there's so much shit going on with the viruses or whatever. I get scared, bitch. I don't know. I was tripping out how um in China how they built that como se llama? They built a hospital in ten days. I was like, damn, people are going crazy. I don't know. I just feel like if they build a fucking hospital in ten days, some real shit is going on. I don't know. I'm scared. I just don't want to get sick, bitch. I don't want to die. I got so much shit to do. And then what if I go to hell? I'm scared. So I already got my water going for the chicken. I'm going to put some onion and some salt. Ahí está la sal. So this side, this bitch has like the little side with the little holes. And the side with the big hole. So always be careful. Sometimes I throw out too much salt because I, I don't check. So yeah, I'm going to throw some salt in there. And I'm going to throw the chicken breast. Ahí, so they can start getting ready. Ready for it. There you go. Did you guys see where I got my top from? Your oven for the tapaderas, for the tops. You know what I'm saying? But that's the best place, bitch. And my oven doesn't even work. I already fucking tried to fix it. I don't know. Fuck it. I just give up. One, maybe one day I'll get a new fucking... ¿Cómo se llama? Stove? I call it kitchen. <laughs> but it's called a stove, right? Kitchen. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys that we're gonna um, use beans too. But I forgot to tell you what I'm telling you now. So for the beans, we're gonna refry them, bitches. And we have Sofia La Tortilla in the motherfucking house. Be careful. Alright? You're fine, mama. It's not gonna splash on me. It just does a little bit of noise. Sofia, you're fine. I know. It's not gonna splash. It just does noise. It's just getting like, um... I don't know what the fuck it's doing, but it's doing some shit in there. Don't be scared. Uh -huh. Yes, yo, you don't trust me? You think I'm gonna let you get burnt? No. I mean, when have you gotten burnt under my supervision? Never. And Donzas? You gotten burnt when you're own, doing your own bullshit. <laughs> Playing with fire. Actually, you've never been burnt. Let me think about it. The one that got burnt was Mandy. Oh, you got burnt. Wait, what was it? You were playing with the candle, right? No. I, I joke. <laughs> you don't want to share? Playing with Benchies. Benchies. Mm-hmm. I'll smash them like this. Be careful. There you go, yo. So we have Mandy over here. So happy, so excited. <laughs> She's pissed off at me right now. You know, you know the drill. And we got Sofia La Tortilla and Baby Mario over here cutting and eating and getting angry or something so i'm using this big ass knife because mandy wanted to use my other knife she says she likes it this doesn't work the skin and um this knife has history i know it looks kind of like todo madreado but it's um mario's uncle philo knife so he he's like mario's uncle he was the only uncle that would cook like every single day but what the, with a thing that i really like that he could he made us stay the the thing for the reyes magos he made no he made conchas and the thing that people eat for the reyes magos and one time he brought it for us and this knife he would use it to um to cut the carnitas so yeah i don't know how you take this black stuff off but we're keeping it in the cajon as long as we as long as i can because bitch he's he already he died a couple years ago he had um liver cancer I don't know, but he, he was very, like, he got really sick. He went from being 100% healthy, like, full of life, to, like, very skinny and sick as fuck. 
Like, I don't know how that happened. But look how pretty that looks. Mandy and Sofia helped me out. I just need to cut up the serrano. Okay, so the serranos, we're just gonna cut them up in four. Oh, these are pretty. Um, I like it when they look like this because when they have like the brown seeds, they're a little older. That's how I could tell. But when they're like this, like the white and the white, you could tell they're fresh as the serranos. So the cucaracha guy tells me that some, he goes to downtown LA, right? Allá in the, I don't know, he said somewhere where they sell the vegetables. Like if you buy a lot, they sell it for cheaper. ¿Cómo se dice? Grand sale? Something sale? I don't know. Un chingo de sale? And um, what was I gonna say? So sometimes he buys strawberries and they're very expensive. So he has to raise the price like a dollar up and sometimes they go cheaper. So that's when he gives it to us cheaper. I, I, wholesale, wholesale, that's what it's called. Grand sale. Wholesale, wholesale. Bitch. Um, yesterday, when I was going through some bullshit and I made that little song up, I was laughing. Because <sighs> I was like, man, las pendejadas that I think. And Mario's like, I like your little song. I'm going to use that for my manager. Because, bitch, sometimes I don't even know why people become... It like they're regular workers, right? And then as soon as they give them a little power, as soon as they give them a little, I you could you could este, decide somebody's schedule or whatever. They're fucking their heads blow up like they have a stick up their ass. I've met some fucking I've worked with managers that were such sticks, and I called her a fucking bitch. Like I literally said, why do you have to be such a fucking bitch? Like I said it with passion, and then I felt bad because she started crying. She was older than me, and I would never disrespect my elders, but she was so, such a bitch to me. Like, she just thought I was so stupid, like, made me feel stupid. So I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not like the type of person that will disrespect somebody right away. Like, you really have to push my motherfucking buttons over and over and over, and then one day I pop. I'm like a fucking balloon. And then once I pop, I'll hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. But yeah. Este, you guys need to sing that song, bitch. So, I was going to make pico de gallo. This is pico de gallo. You just add lemon and salt and some black pepper. Pero, and I was going to make guacamole on the side. But, bitch, I just found out that I don't have no tomatillos. So, I'm just going to do, like, my little remix, like, avocado salsa. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to put the... Wait, wait. I'm going to put two avocados up in this hole with lemon. And yeah, bitch, that's what we're gonna do. También está bueno, así. These are very ripe. Um, You know they're ripe when they're, like, squishy. No, well, that's how I know. Everybody has their own trickily trick, trick, trick. Pero I don't like them extremely ripe. I like it medium like this. Pero como este ya it's ready to go, I gotta use it. See, it has, like, it's a little too ripe for my, como se dice? For my taste. Andale, bitch, for my taste. All of a sudden, ya tengo taste. Mira que chingona. Que mamona. So, thank you for you guys for giving me, um, como se dice, ideas. So, somebody told me that I should make shirts when I say, mm hmm <laughs> And then somebody told me that I was trying to be um, Auntie Fee. What's her name? The, the chef, that she was really funny. I'm not trying to be her. I... Cur curse like her but fifi but i'm not her i'm like she i'm me and she's she and i'm not trying to be anybody and you guys could pretty much tell porque i do my own thing and i say my own shit and it just comes in my brain so yeah anyways i'm not trying to disrespect anybody but fuck off kindly fuck off get the fuck out of here thank you very much <laughs> okay now we're gonna put the limon and the seeds are in there but it's okay that's why you like using my little thingy but we're in a hurry right now because the kids are hungry the quesadilla was good but i guess they're hungry now again like always they're always fucking hungry i don't even know i when i was little i told my mom i'm never having kids do it do it do what the whoop whoop look at me now with three fucking children i should have stayed quiet i should have shut the fuck up i really thought i was gonna be single forever Cause nobody fucking liked me. 
I asked out, I actually, like, asked out a little fucking kid in fifth grade. Like I was saying, in fifth grade, I asked out, his name was Gustavo. I asked him out, motherfucker looked at me like I was, like, the ugliest piece of shit in the world. And he had braces, he had a bunch of pimples, he had fucked up hair. But I liked him because he looked like a cartoon. He was nerdy cute. Motherfucker was like, Ew. Hijo de su puta madre. Like, he broke my little heart. It's not like I was in love with him. Because hell no, he was just a crush. I might have had a little bit of oregano. Este, he was just a crush. But the way he rejected me, like, bro. Like, come on now. You didn't have to be that mean. And then years later, I asked him, like, why didn't you ever like me? Like, what was, I just wanted to know what was wrong with me. He's like, I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't think you were cute. And I was like, okay, I thought something was wrong with me. Like, okay, now that our pollo is ready and nice, not cold anymore, we're gonna shred this bitch. The Severano. Mandy, are you gonna help me? Oh, okay. I thought you guys were gonna do it to me. We're doing it two hands, no four hands. <laughs> what? I talk weird. You don't talk weird. You talk like your dad. You weirdos. Um, four hands is better than two hands. And this bitch, I don't like. I don't like doing this part. Like, nah. I'm just here shredding shit shit shredding but as I always call you but sometimes you don't respond are you for real? Mm -hmm. I don't think you love me I'm sorry mama you just love yourself I'm sorry mama mama Okay, so now that we got that, we're gonna add a little bit of oil, a little bit of Erica on my life. Chicken. Some motherfucking oregano, no mucho más poquito. You can also add tomatoes if you want, onion, whatever the fuck you want. But I feel like this is enough. It smells amazing, balls, bitch. Woo! Hell yeah. Hell to the great world. Yeah. So, I decided to add some tomato at very last minute just because, I don't know. I, I think tomato gives it food a lot of flavor. And it doesn't have to be a lot, just enough. See? Cover that bowl up right there so the tomatoes cook it juicy like my pussy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I'm gonna add some oil because we're gonna make the chimichanga. That's my like, only oil. Bitch. I need to go to the stout, to the stout, stout, stout. So I heated up my tortilla and the comal just for like a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. So we got the cheese, we got the guacamole, we got the chicken. You could also make it with beef. I'm gonna make some with beef right now for Mario. And we got the beans, we got the oil going. Let's do this. So Sophia's here watching me how I, to see how I do it. So you put some beans, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put some queso, some cheese. And then we're gonna add the chicken. Mm. You got chicken or beef. I have a question. Can I take the school tomorrow, please? You wanna take a chimichanga to school yeah. tomorrow? Yes, baby, of course. Whatever you want. Cause it looks tasty. It is tasty. And yeah, that's how you roll it up. I don't know. I didn't explain how you roll it up, but it kind of makes sense. You get it one side, and then you grab, grab the other side. You wanna take a chimichanga, chimichanga, chimi chimi chimichanga to school? Yes. And what are you gonna tell the kids? This is a fried burrito. It has beans. What else does it have? Um, beans, chicken, and cheese. And also, um, you could take an avocado to school. I could make you some guacamole. Or you could take some guacamole. I was going to say I could make you some guacamole. But that one has chile. A little bit of chile. But it, I only put two chiles and it's hot. Okay. Like this. And like this. And like that. And like this. You got chile, but since we're going to fry it, it's not going to be. So, okay. You fold it like this. And you grab it from here. You get all the food. And you kind of squish it in, tuck it in. You know like how guys tuck their dick in like that. 
and ta-da! <laughs> so since I was making the chimichangas, I was all busy doing that. I was just letting my oil get hot. And it's too fucking hot. If you put your chimichanga too hot, it's just gonna like cook the outside and not really cook the inside. You know what I'm saying? So don't overdo it, overheat it. This bitch is like 225 some shit. I don't know, I think that's too hot. I could feel it. I don't even need to, to measure the damn... ¿Cómo se llama? I'll take the temperature. I could just feel that shit. It was like, whoo. It's because these, these things... That's why I like this oven. Because I well, then I think about it. Oh, should I get a new one? Because it gets really hot, like super hot like that. And um, yesterday... <laughs> look, yesterday I spent an hour cleaning this bitch. And it's already a mess again. But it's okay, that just means I cook up in this house. Okay, so let's do this. Hold on, see, I think it's ready. See, mira que bonito, mira que chula. Así tiene que ser, no que. I was blowing shit up and shit. I wanted to cook evenly, gracefully, like bad bitches. You guys are gonna be two badass bitches. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, wait, okay, no, okay, you guys are gonna be basic bitches. It's okay, I'm a basic bitch. There's nothing wrong with being a basic bitch. Bye. You know what I'm saying? I just say I'm a bad bitch, but low-key I'm a basic bitch because I stay home all day. <laughs> but you know what? There's nothing wrong with that bitch. People act like, oh my god, stay home mom. Oh my god, eh, 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 eh. It's the best thing in the motherfucking world. I can scratch my ass whenever I want. And I don't have to deal with no motherfucking managers. I just have to deal with my fucking kids, which is the same thing. That's always tell Mario. Sometimes Mark calls me and, and I tell him I'm busy. And he's like, busy, but you're home. And I'm like, motherfucker, call me at my motherfucking break. Don't be calling me when I'm um, working. You know what I'm saying? This is working, bitch. And then I flip the other one. Ooh, 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 look, it's so sexy. It's gonna be nice and crunchy, crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside with the cheese and all of that. So this is what it looks like. Mira que chulada. It's like crispy. Mandy already finished hers. What do you think, Mandy? Did you like them? Delicioso. Delicioso, And um, She told me that the, the guacamole, that the guacari guac was a little bit too hot. And I put only two serranos. Bitch. But how? I didn't smell them. It was my own fault. So I put it, the guacamole on top. And here we go, yo. It was delicioso. Mm. Uh -huh. And I asked people to eat it. You asked for what? I asked for one. Oh, it's massive, yeah. Instead of being happy that you're alive in this motherfucking world, then put that. Mmm. It's really good. You guys need to try it. Not my skin. I need to take smaller bites. My mouth is not that big. Mmm. So good. With that guacamole, bitch. Mmm. 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 Amaze balls. I really like it. And I was thinking of putting the, the avocado inside. But then if you put it um, in the oil, don't you think it's going to be mushy or something? Yeah, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird, right? Totally, you guys. Mmm. Oh, that cheese and the pollo. Amazing. But anyways, motherfuckers, I just want to take like a minute to tell you guys how much I appreciate all the motherfucking love. Thank you for all the sweet messages. Like, I be going through some shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm human. But thank you so much. And you guys really motivate this girl, your girl. Um, I love you guys. To all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. I love you. Peace and motherfucking love.